Welcome to Shark River Machine. My name is Steve, and this is Shark Bits number 22. This is going to be a short one. I just have a few things that I want to get caught up on before I get involved with my next project video. In one of my last videos, I had reached out to my viewers to see if I could find some 3AT collets that will fit my new 10F Atlas lathe. And one of my loyal supporters found a set on eBay and purchased it for me. I am absolutely blown away. Uh, we did make a little trade. Uh, but I tell you, I got the better end of this deal. The set comes with the draw bar. There's an adapter bushing. And I have seven collets. Sixteenth through half. It's missing a quarter. That's not a problem. I can find one of them. And I have a couple of other ones that came with the lathe. I've got a 930 seconds. So as soon as I pick up a quarter inch collet, I've got a pretty complete set. I want to thank Vernon Courier, the Mature Patriot. He has a channel. He hasn't posted much lately because he's had some health issues. But Vernon has been a very loyal supporter of this channel and of many other YouTubers. So take a look at his channel. In my last video, I was making the T-nut for the AXA Quick Change tool post that I purchased for the Atlas lathe. And I got down to threading it and it was a 14 millimeter by 1.5 pitch that I didn't have. So I ordered it. I had it within a day. It came very quick. Matter of fact, I got a set. I got the uh, taper tap and I also got a bottoming tap. So I've got a project coming up. I think I'm going to need the bottoming tap for so here is the tap that I got. I purchased it on Amazon. It had a pretty high rating. It had 30 ratings and it was very high. So uh, let's go over to the milling machine and cut some threads. I've still got the T-nut clamped up in the vise from when I drilled it so it's still in line. I'm going to put my tap follower in. bit of oil and let's cut some threads. There it is. Well, I can't complain about that tap. Thank you. 
going to leave it in place. I'm just going to zero out my DRO so I can bring it back. Perfect. This concludes the T-nut build for my 10F Atlas Lathe AXA Quick Change Tool Post. There seems to be quite a fascination in the YouTube machinist community for old tap and die sets, die stocks, tap handles, and so on and so forth. Those of you that have followed me for a while probably know, but I'd, I spent the first half of my career in a family automotive machine shop. And this tap and die set was on a back shelf. I, I actually spoke to my father this past weekend and asked him if he remembered where it came from. And he doesn't remember. We were in business for 49 years, and he says it was there when he started. I was there for 25 years, and I closed the business in 1995, and I've had it sitting in my shop for 25 years and haven't opened it since it's been here. So I did clean it up a little bit because it had about a quarter of an inch of dust on it. But here is the tap and die set. And I'll give you a close up of the, uh, the, the labels. It says the Green River new screw plate. And there's actually a patent date on the tap handle. It says April 19th, 1899. So this has got to be real early 1900s. And the only thing that I have used in my career <laughs> was the tap handle because this fit some kingpin reamers that we had in the shop. And I was able to use that on the kingpin reamers. It goes from 3 8 to 1 inch. Now, somewhere along the line, the front section of this box broke off. There's about, well, three quarters of an inch, almost an inch missing off of the box. And unfortunately, there are two taps missing. As there are only uh, five taps here, and there should be seven. But here's a, there's one spot that there was a tap. And I'm going to try and replicate this piece and, and repair the box. The, I'm going to try and get a close-up so I can show you how these dies are made. There's a close-up of the label. Now the interesting thing about it is, and I'll give you a close-up of the, uh, the tap handle also. Let's see if we can see that in there. The manufacturer is listed as Wiley and Russell Manufacturer. And it is from... Greenfield, Massachusetts, USA. And on this side, it says Lightning number 54. And that's where the patent is. I don't know whether you can see that or not. The dies are adjustable. This is one of the dies. This is the three-quarter, and it's got a shoulder bolt, which acts as a pivot. There it is. It's got a shoulder bolt there, which acts as a pivot point. And then this screw is a taper. 
so you can adjust the fit on the threads there's the uh, die stock and these two tabs engage in the side of the die to drive it here's an interesting label inside the box wipe your dies clean avoid steel and other hard stuff use plenty of good lard oil well that wraps up this episode of shark bits it was a short one I hope you enjoyed it a uh, little trip down memory lane for me keep those comments and subscriptions coming I want to thank all my new subscribers thank all the old subscribers that are sticking with me I mentioned a while ago that I was going to have a another giveaway uh, it's going to be a giveaway for one of the big black books that was the special edition from the Barzi Summer Bash and I'm going to give that away when we reach 2000 it's coming on quick thank you for watching see you in the next video